is a giant maze where 100 players will be trapped in trying to escape. Within the maze, there's dangerous creatures, deadly traps, and lastly, creatures from the depths of hell. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. This is the 100 player Maze Runner simulation, and their story begins with phase one, Insider. Players begin by being brought up through the elevator into an area above which is called the Glade. The goal here is for them to stack up, talk to NPCs, to trade with them, and to prepare for phase two. That's when the doors will open up for the first time. This was where people who have lived here for a while decided to call their home. Though they are surrounded by huge concrete walls and no means of escape, they live happy here. Since there was an influx of players, which will be calling gladers, that came up the elevator, the resources quickly began to deplete, such as wood, grass, and even food within barrels. You nomads! And if that didn't help you realize what type of people they are, they decided to destroy the one tent that they had, one of the only houses in this small area. What the heck? A notable place was this waterfall that seemed to come out of a sewage pipe. It's a little weird, I know. I think it got even weirder when there was actually someone in there. I wouldn't trust that dude up there if my life depended on it. But that didn't stop people from getting curious very quickly. There were a few notable locals to look out for. Thomas, who sold Spartan weaponry, Newt, who sold tools, Chuck, who sold backpacks, and lastly, Frypan, who sold water canteen. Everything you'd ever need to survive in this dystopian world can be obtained by simply trading with them. Also, players are given choices to choose how they want their story to be within each phase. As one of the creators of the Outsiders SMP, these players are gonna get no remorse. After everyone started getting situated within the area, I then expanded it a bit, extending to the forest within the glade. Might not seem like much, but the players were given the choice to stay out in the open with no danger or explore a new area. There's also a secret in the forest that's hidden. It seemed like most wanted to stay within the safe area to make farms and stability for their teams, which I don't blame. While the other 20% were mining and exploring into the four depths. Some are said to even lose their minds in there. Honestly, I'd be terrified of the place if I was in there. Soon, they realized why this area was closed off in the first place. It's because there were infected players infesting the entire forest. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. They're infected in the in the forest. It's not a pleasant sight. They're just knifing them away. There's so many. You guys gotta be careful. Some decided to use the vines to get up to safety, while others used more bloody tactics, like throwing knives that they bought from new. Regardless, it was a death trap unless you had meat shields, aka teammates. You know, you could just call it whatever you want at this point. Oh wow. There is so many that have died. Poor things. The notable things that can be found is the farms, the runner's house, the lake and lastly the plane yeah you heard me right there's a plane in here within the plane lied a secret entrance to this lab that's right a crash landed plane that's been there for a few days now but is very well hidden amongst the leaves and trees but don't be fooled by it just being a plane because there is infected inside there is a risk this is Xander one of the survivors was closing near the secret laboratory that only has one entrance so you cannot get in there any other way but I mean it didn't really stop them from trying of course others thought to break the walls that confined them but to their surprise there was a barrier while stopping them it wasn't gonna be that easy come on give me some credit people can't escape that easily something interesting that was going on above ground though was sand scavenging. there's a big reason for this sand is a very scarce resource here and it's used to make water bottles but why are water bottles even important in the first place help yo, i'm yo, not yo. healing I yo you got water bro help how? Well, to simply put, there's a mod that we added that makes it so there's actually a thirst bar on par with the hunger bar. So if you're thirsty and you run out of thirst, you will slow down and you cannot sprint. With that information in mind, this just means that every single player needs at least one water bottle. So some began to monopolize this by taking all of the sand. I gotta give them props. I wouldn't have even thought of this. Let's move on to the team side of everything. Team 1 is Melo's team. His team is called Legion. You'll know it's them based off of their spartan armor they were in search of a place to make a base for legion let's move let's move let's move 
Oh my god, they're just infected. Run! Oh, uh, run, 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 run. I see they've run into the local, and the agricultural revolution begins. All right, start uh, building up a little wall. Build up a little wall around this place. And let's start planting some food. I got a ton of seeds, so let's plant that. Team 2, the baller, owned by Xander. You guys thought of a place to make a base yet? I have not, but the ballers are over in that corner, so I think we're taking over the, um, the waterfall area. They are basing at the corner around the lake. They had a pretty big group and sure knew how to keep themselves entertained. What are they doing? Wait, is that? <laughs> Team 3 was the Crimson, but we see them a little bit more later in the video, so just keep an eye on them. Let's just hope that these teams stack up and make good bases, because once the mobs start rolling in, only a few will survive. A plus side to making a base is also that my mod, Will Lemonth, will choose one of the bases amongst the team that will receive a loot crate filled with netherite in it. What is he doing? <laughs> He's just walking around lopsided. What even? As you can see, some infected decided to take different tactics yeah uh i don't know if you'll actually reach anywhere going like that after some time had passed for the gladers their bases began to form into pretty respectable sizes look at the ballers base they've got some tall walls and it goes all the way around this corner farms and they have quite the bit of organization plus they're the biggest team at the moment there was a shack nearby at the back of the glaive tucked away and has infected swarming in it we met one of their victims doesn't look very pleasant this is where things took a horrible turn oh that's smart that's so smart they put one of the npcs that are required for a backpack in a boat and i think they might be hiding him are you guys kidnapping chuck <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare laugh it off i know what you're up to we might be. <laughs> this looks so so weird <laughs> just because i was looking for him right in the house and then i see him in a boat <laughs> No, he's mine. Huh? You can't lie to me. I see what's going on here. I see everything. Sly dog. Monopolizing the sand was one thing, but monopolizing the NPCs? Woo, talk about ambitious. I can't even make this up, bruh. Y'all are on something. I wonder where he's gonna end up by the end of it. <laughs> going back to team one, Legion. They decided to make a base at the lake within the forest. Why? I don't really know. I find this very difficult because the infected will just constantly berate you. But hey, maybe they know something I don't. Not my problem. Legion's team leader, Mel decided to try utilizing the fact that there was no sand around as well. I wonder where this is gonna turn into. Mello also decided to mine into the wall to also discover that there's barriers preventing them from going into the maze. Back to Team Ballers, their farms are looking snazzy. They're honestly the best place so far in my opinion. Every time I come back to Team Ballers, their team gets bigger and bigger. I swear, they're multiplying. There were carvings by their wall that wrote, we are doomed. I guess they're losing hope, even though that does sound good. Then things got pretty dark Again, Xander and me have a little bit of a talk about kidnapping. Interesting. I'm gonna go check up on the engineer real quick. Make sure you... Yo, Adrian, my man. Yo. So, I've been hearing things about people kidnapping the NPCs. Hey, huh? what? Oh, yeah, that was me. Uh, I mean, no one was scared. No, we don't talk. Wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see anything. Um, yeah, okay. So another NPC got kidnapped. I'm starting to see a common pattern here. Uh, and I, I don't know how I feel about this. So the NPC that they managed to hide was a hidden engineer that the ballers found by the sewer pipe. The engineer which drops the most useful items they need to actually make progress. The gatekeeping is real. Above them was an empire soon to rise to the top of their ranks. The British Empire. Uh, it was also owned by Big Big Crime. Yeah, that's, that's a name. What you doing up here, buddy? You got your little empire going on? Oh wait, you got a farm too? Interesting. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some cakes. There you go. That's for you. Good luck. Besides the teams that are going around kidnapping people, the nicer gladers would set up a safe area. But it does bring up some interesting questions because why would you even need a safe area? Are they planning on starting a war or something? I decided that I would actually start getting involved as well. I wanted to be a puppeteer. So I went out of my way to strike a deal with a glader named Xander. Xander, I have a bit of a proposition for you. Would you like to make a deal? Ooh. A deal? I mean, what type of deal are you on about? As you know, the maze is going to be opening up soon, and you don't seem to have a lot of resources like armor or weapons. I can give you that stuff, no sweat, but what you got to do is abandon your team and betray them. Hmm. So... But don't worry, you're not only sabotaging your own team, you're also sabotaging every team on the server. So I sabotage my teammates, but I get to sabotage up. I think it's worth it. I'm down. What does this deal 
What do I have to do then? The maze doors are opening very soon. And once those doors open, all you gotta do is convince your team and every other team to take the chance and go into the maze. And since you're helping me out, don't go mm -hmm. in yourself unless you're trying to die. I'll go spread the word, then, then you are. This is Xander's first victim, being a person that kind of eavesdropped a little bit on our conversation. But it's all going according to plan. Good job, Xander. That's what I like to see. As you just saw, though, I was just talking to Adrian, and um, he was telling me that um, in the maze, there was a lot of these crystals which we will need. So he was. <laughs> so he was pretty much telling me that as soon as we go in the maze, like as soon as the doors open, we need to go in the maze and grab these crystals. I see. But yeah, he said these crystals are very um very valuable in the long run. And the people who don't have the crystals are probably gonna not gonna yeah. they're, they're well, probably not yeah, gonna make also, it too far. During all of this, the ballers that were above ground were extending the walls even further. It was an extension to the walls that they already had, and honestly, I liked the look of it. After a bit, Xander went to search for other teams to continue convincing them to go into the maze. He's kind of like a preacher. The Legion left their corner. This was where Legion has moved to now. They kind of made their own walls within the walls. A little ironic, but you know. Turns out that Chuck was actually under their hostage now. I don't know what happened to the original kidnap. I don't think I actually want to know. Never mind. Xander ended up finding his second victim, Mello, the leader of Team Legion. 20 more minutes left till phase two begins and the walls open up. Remember that crashed plane? Well, if you dig underneath the plane, you'll find out that there's an entrance way into an underground laboratory that was underneath the glade all this time no one's yet to find it until now one managed to find their way in and to their surprise there were swarms of guards there's actually a loot crate down there as well with netherite that can be found in one of these containers but the guards do twice as much damage as any of the infected have ever done it was starting to look kind of like an ant farm the way they tried getting into the lab without finding the plane but eventually the lab flooded in with heap so here we have a massacre i don't even know what happened here it looks like a crime scene. Some, instead of fighting these guards, they ended up pouring lava to these poor 9 to 5 workers. It was about time we start judging the bases. This is the Baller's base. They really love their farms and they kidnapped the engineer. This is the Legion's base. It's also pretty farm heavy and they also have tunnels. And they kidnap chunks. Yo, what's with these guys and kidnapping MCs? They have feelings too, you know. Crimson's base, which we haven't seen much of, was actually above the maze door. Not questionable on the placement. You know what? I mean, they're an honorable mention. But then again, I I am not the judge of this. My mod Will Lemons is the judge, and I asked them which base should be awarded the netherite loot crate. It's tricky because they got interior design as well oh, alongside the farm. Oh yeah, Bro? this is sick. Uh, I think which team's this? This is hey. Team uh, Legion. Yeah, this is cool. I right, think this. this I think this is the winner. Yeah. Okay, okay, got you. Team Legion is the winner. What the, the heck? Event. We won. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you, guys, 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 guys. What? We won the build event. We got a ton of loot. Not too soon later, some big changes happen to the glade. Phase two: the maze doors. Gladers are given two choices. Do you and your team expect Explore the maze and what it has to offer, or do you and your team stay behind, stack up a little bit more, and wait to see what'll happen to the door? And as you can see, some of the gladers got a little bit impatient and started stacking up at the entrance into the maze. There was a lot of interest in what was actually in store for the place. The main places to note within this maze is the entrance, the campsite which will lead to phase three, the expansion, and lastly, pay close attention to the blocks. Throughout the maze, there's several blocks that are very contrasting they use those blocks to trade with the npcs back glade so that's kind of like a secondary value aside from finding an escape the maze doors are now open wide i would estimate it was around 20 gladers that went in shortly after more gladers realized that the doors have been kept open for a while now they began to trust the maze they began to trust me that's where it started going wrong for them Mello, the leader of Legion, was a little suspicious as to why Xander was helping him. Despite my deal and efforts, Mello felt like something was going down and it was gonna go down pretty soon. And he was right. Since the maze doors had been open, it's been 20 minutes after, and I decided to close them. The people that are within the maze are now being trialed. They took the risk of being the first people into the maze. They'll also get the privilege of being the first guinea pigs of the creatures that live in the maze. The first creatures they had to fight against were known as Reaver. Reavers shoot missiles off of their tails. The shield was the only one thing that was keeping this man alive. He had to go up some vines to even escape it. Oh, no. Order, die. Whoa. What? Guys, there are mobs. There are huge mobs in here. Reavers surrounded this guy in a prison outfit, and he was blasted out of reality. See?
Let's just hope that the others trapped in this maze don't have the same fate. That would be pretty bad. The people that stayed in the glade were also finding weird things themselves, such as a dead body. Uh, I'm not the only one seeing this dead body, right? Yeah, he I think he was one of the sky people and they fell off. Uh, <laughs> Some of the gladers realized just how risky it was out in the maze and wanted to return home to the glade. But as soon as they got comfortable, a griever attacked them. There was around four people and they wanted to stick together till the maze door opens up again. Some gladers actually managed to get to a D spot. This is known as the campsite. It's a camp that was abandoned and ripped to shreds. They were attacked by grievers as well, but they stood strong with full iron armor and weapons they bought from Tommy. And they were one of the first teams to actually kill a griever. They realized that it was a hot spot for grievers since it's where the next expansion is going to be at. Grievers were swarming towards them with no chill whatsoever. They realized that they were surrounded and went deeper into the maze. The deeper they go, the more frequently grievers show up. And to make it even worse for them, this is only the first creature found in the maze. They block themselves in so they can heal up and plan a way out of there. The second creature found in the maze was this thing called an ender map terra the map terra swarm started seeping a little bit into the glade without full notice they began to realize after a little bit and that it was a bad sign what if the map terra decides swarm in the entire glade and because of this fear the gladers decided to start attacking and exterminating the map terra that's in some were really terrified of these creatures so they went through the extremes of hiding within the walls and pleading for help and i'm not gonna lie i'd probably be just as scared there's a bunch of structures which show that people used to actually live around here. I wonder what happened to them. After a long night of being stuck in the maze, being attacked by grievers and the Ender Map Terra, left to die of hunger within there, the sun rising opened the maze gates. We can leave, we can leave. Oh, yeah. Freedom. Oh my god. We're free. You want to come up, skin, so we can start? Bro, I found my schizophrenia. Yeah, I think I traumatized them. They soon realized that the maze gates were left open this time around. A griever tried sneaking into the glade. Guys, we have a problem. Guys, guys, there's a griever inside. Ow, ow. Yeah, come to like, come to the wall. Oh my god, what, what the thing? hell? What is that thing? Don't. Oh, oh no. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh my, on my gosh, that's They probably give good stuff. Save this guy, save this guy. Bro, save himself, bro. Okay. There was more. This then revealed to the glade what a griever really was and looked like, which put most of the people into a big unease. The grievers and the map terra started working together and started shooting at the gladers. Also, we found out that the map terra can fly. I didn't even know that. While all of this was going on, I went to check on Zan, owner of Team Baller. They ended up building a fallout shelter since they realized that all hell might break loose soon. Back to the army fighting to protect the glade. All it would take is four deaths and the Grievers and Mapterra would have easy access to invade the Glade. Something that I forgot to mention till now is that there's another traitor that lives within the maze, known as the Alchemist that was left by the camp. They give Gladers the option to buy explosives to their own will. Is a bad idea? Probably. With this time, Mapterra swarmed the Alchemist. Back at the Glade, they were going through a bit of a murder mystery. Someone was killed right in front of the maze door. Gladers swarmed around them like vultures. This wasn't the only dark thing going on here. As it turns out, that guy that died in front of the maze was Mello, and one of Mello's comrades decided to sacrifice self. They needed their leader back, a worthy sacrifice for the sake of the team. I respect it. Welcome back to the world of the living, Mello. Later, soon find out there was a griever and map terra swarms all over the alchemist. There were still traps being triggered the further into the maze that the gladers went into, just like this one. Team ballers were mainly within the maze, searching for a way out, but some wanted to stay at home base to make sure that none of the other groups robbed them and then began phase three renewal now that the glade has its peace it was time to begin the reign of terror an announcement was set out to the gladers that the doors will no longer close regardless of how much time had passed and any creature now can walk in the maze expands even further as well allowing players to go farther into the depth rumors start to spread about there being a new glade a second glade but it's just a rumor this second
Beacon Glade, similar to this one but not the same as theirs. There's said to be people, food, and even homes with functional doors that block out the creatures. Which began choice number three. Some runners decided to run out to an unexplored area and found a new place with expedition held to find an escape to the maze. Do you or your team stay behind and not explore this new area? Or do you and your team go with the people who decide to explore this new area together to see what it has to offer? Think carefully because this is a big one. Most of the teams have already created their bases here. They thought this was it. It was home. So they just refused used to leave while others decided to go into the depths of the maze. The thing that they weren't aware of was Glade 1 was starting to become unstable. Grievers began strolling in from everywhere. The gate, the top, everywhere. There was no longer a safe place to be in at the place that they once called home. This was nearing the end of the Glade. Team Ballers started to hear explosions just like this one. The infected grew in numbers, making it really difficult for them to survive within the glade as well. The maze that they once feared had now become their new safe haven from the creature. Team Legion was no different as well. The swarms also invaded their base, causing them to fall back into their fallout shelter they prepared for themselves. They were falling under pressure. Don't forget, they only have one life. If they die here, they die for good. The team dramatically lowers the number. The Grievers found a way to break in through the roof, attacking the bunker members. Well, Oh, it, go, it, go, it, go. There's another one. Wait, there's another one. I got two killing! Oh, there's one coming up from behind. There's one coming up from behind. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, leave. Definitely leave. 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 The other smaller teams didn't have it any easier though. The Grievers also broke into the Ballers base of operations. This place is in shambles. Gladers really started to think. The people living in the walls was honestly some of the safest. Regardless of the teams, they gather in front of the maze to enter and find the second glade. They entered the campsite, which was the right direction to finding the second glade. There were brave people thinking that they can outrun a griever swarm. Like what? Are you crazy? Bad idea. Despite their setbacks, they attacked the enemies one by one, working together to get to the next area. Xander too was doing the same thing, except he realized that there was no barriers within the walls themselves. Since I did announce the general location of the second glade, he'd be able to mine into it. Chaos ensued, both in the glade and even now in the me. What I didn't expect to come out of this madness is a collaboration between Team Ballers and Team Legion. It began with Xander trying to trick them, teaming up with them when push comes to shove now, planning to escaping the maze soon. Every major team is now within the maze, some closer to the second glade than others, all with the goal of trying to either find a new area or a means to escape this godforsaken maze. What the? There's so many dead people. There's a lot right. of dead people around here. And you're right! Many of the Gladers had fallen victim to the maze. They'll forever be remembered, I think. But they pushed forward, despite the dark times that they're in. It got to a point where players ahead of them started making paths for them to follow to get to the next area. Aw, how thoughtful. If only they'd warn them about the danger that's to come. A Griever is found blocking their pathway towards the direction they need to go to, so they try shooting it down. Afterwards, they encounter two more grievers in a brand new more open area than the maze that they were used to with slim turns it's got a lot more space but also it's a lot more ominous too uh -oh. okay. all right nice nice let's big go one, big one. there's another big one, one, big one. one. Big one. Oh, big one. yeah nice we got it we got it we got Stuff. it follow me follow me Moving in. oh there's a red one what the hell all right, all right. oh yeah. Fire, take, take this oh, shot yeah. <laughs> boy what the hell boy now they're doing oh. it they're actually doing it nice I just- We have to kill these things. What are you doing? Oh, don't, shh, there's more, don't there's leave more, there's people. More. We gotta stay together. Oh, there's another one. They were preparing for the worst group mentality. The sun had already started setting, which meant more grievers would spawn on them. So they had to haste. They took an Aquafina break. It was merely a sip. How much for being hasty? Hey, lads, something big's coming. What? Uh -oh. oh, oh. Time. Light work, spider. Take him out. Wall, wall peek it, wall peek it. Can. Hey, I'm pretty weak. Let's make a water source if we can. Yeah, what am I meant to do with this claw thing? Can I like add some stuff to it? Hey, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Same four guys, lads. I've got devil star charge, but I don't let know what go to do first. with let it. Go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah, same. Hey, let's heal up. Heal up all we can. Left them alone for a little while, and they ended up creating a farm due to the huge lack of food and grievers infecting them, causing them to get hunger effect. The maze had another expansion, leading them to a room I like to call the Blades. Oh. 
borders open. Wait, the border open, the border open. This is a netherite monstrosity, a creature straight out of the depths of hell. That's what's to come if they go down this path. They find a huge hole in the maze walls, which seemed really weird, and that's because it is. It's another plane that crashed into the wall, leaving the remains in the maze. This is when some of the gladers notice that there is a netherite monstrosity, not only one, but three of them, and the fight begins. Gladers versus three netherite monstrosity. Spawner, I broke the spawn. Oh, they're in that room, I think. What is this? The netherite monstrosity? Watch okay, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, guys, they have a lot of health. They have absolutely no more water. Someone, instead of fighting the monsters, decided to run a marathon and escape while other players were distracting the boss, and it worked. Are they, are, is, are more of them spawning in? Why did he go for, when he actually made it? Some kid ran in. He made it. Jeez, as if the monsters weren't bad enough, grievers started creeping up behind them. As more time passed, the creatures around were gathering up, giving them less of a chance of surviving. They were planning on how to go about this monster. Most were hesitant to go in. I just gotta say, arrows are literally useless against this guy. Oh, Three what the out. Three monsters and they all ran through. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. You're safe so nobody falls off, you feel me? Oh, my God. They're to kill us. Oh, they're not doing a single death to its health. As soon as I mow that chunk, it's crazy. Guys, you why, did, why did we say yes to a boss battle? Listen, we could stay here for as long as we want, but we're going to have to fight them eventually. Might as well just go in and just kill, just kill them all. If we die, we die. But, yeah. Grievers, Grievers, Grievers behind oh, us. Behind. Oh, shoot. There's, there's tons of Grievers. Go left, go left, go left. You think we should just build across? What the heck? What is that thing? Could we avoid him? I'm we're getting him. him. He takes, he's him taking it, he's taking it. Get him. No, he's getting up. Push him down, push him down. Everyone go through the tunnel. Go through yeah, the tunnel. Everyone, everyone. Don't pick up the bucket. Don't pick up the bucket. Leave it. Oh boy. Okay, no, yeah, we need to go left. We're going. Shh. Let's go. Yeah, There's two. There's two. They're firing. Right. Bro, we are not going. And after a bit of time, they found a way through the hellish location. Though they did take the cheap way out, they managed to escape and survive. They head further into the maze in search of this second glade. Some starting to think it's not even real anymore. Many got a little lost, but found this place that looked like a stone beach side. I don't know how I feel about that. It just kind of feels off. This is where they needed to go. They're taking us back? No way. Wait, what? This is different. Whoa. Be oh, careful. Yeah. This is too spawn. Dude, he led us back into the- Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that gladers don't actually know about the second glade. They were merely just looking for a way out of the maze, so they are in for an interesting find. This is the second glade, home to Mino, and a ton of houses, plus a huge wall. The thing that they didn't know about the place was the fact that it was filled with infected. There's infected. Oh, oh my god. no. No. I think there's just people on there. them. Don't push each other. Yeah, there's tons of infected. Yeah, this is different. This is different. This is different. Whoa, what the heck is this? Like a completely new area. Dude, is this a new glade? Yeah, there's a couple abandoned places. The gladers that were alive at this point was around 30 of them left, I believe. Ended up here in the second glade. They got comfortable, but there was no escape. They were back into a state where they already began at. Trap. Mino, though, sold upgraded armor and gear and a bunch of weapons. This would also help them progress a bit. After realizing that there's not much else to really do in the glade 2 this began choice number four the final choice what i like to call the expedition the expedition went right but only one out of the team of five runners returned minho do you go with them to escape the facility once and for all from a rumored place or wait in the safe area for them to follow one of the creatures back to where it came from and escape via the way they got in a set of coordinates were given to them leading back to glade one if they chose to go with mino apparently a second door had opened allowing them to explore a side of the maid that hadn't been fully checked out yet. The gladers push forward, heading back the way that came from just to get put into a different side of the maze. This side was different though, and you'll see just in a second why that is. They, for some reason, decided to head on top of one of the accessible walls, but doing so led to many of the mobs such as the Maptera and the Grievers up there to attack Mello, the Legion's leader. I'm about to die. He doesn't know. He doesn't know it's up there. Oh no. No! No! <laughs> Mellow's dead! Oh, this is a shambles, huh? Oh, Jesus. 
Ooh, so much for that sacrifice. And bam, the first team to find the new open door. Well, it's more like a hole, but let's just say it's not a door too. After more of them came to this area, they began to explore inwards to see what the maze had to offer them. They encountered another fort, but no, it started becoming a reoccurring thing. Signs of people, but there's none of them there. But then again, two glades, what's stopping them from being 10 or 20 of them? Throughout the maze, there's tons of biomes, and this mushroom infested area was one of them. More gather on top of the mushroom area, and honestly, it's just starting to feel like Mario map. As soon as they get closer to these depths, they begin to hear noises coming from the walls, and soon realize that the closer they get to the exit, the deadlier it also comes. So I hope they're ready. This is section four. It's currently blocked off because there's something that needs to be done here, but continuing. It's blocked off due to Ender Guardian. They guard the exit to the maze, and to move on from here, Gladers must kill them. So the fight begins. It could be kind of like a boss fight. They decided to make a blockade and began to use their arrows, but soon realized that it was pointless because they are immune to arrows. Guys, I thought we learned all of this with the last netherite monstrosity. Oh, by the way, there's also netherite monstrosities that emerge from the ground. Look at that. In total, there was two ender guardians and two netherite monstrosities. They had to kill Tavon, and they actually had to work together. Okay, look, no we got stuck. They can't get over. Bros, go forward. Go forward. No. Oh, God, they're coming over. Boys, this ain't looking. Oh, no, I'm solo. Keep I'm going. Going. Oh, oh, fall back. Fall back. Go back. Go back. Get cover. Make sure that they can't get through. Why is everyone so far forward? Right here, I got water. Whoa, no! You ugly bastard. He's that river. Holy, what did I just come back to? Go! Oh. It's running away! One of these nether boss died, and now the sides have turned. The Ender Guardian at the very end was slain. That was the last of them, and they now have access to the final direction they need to head in. Right, this way, look! It's here, it's, it's here, just here, it's here. We going, lads, come on. And it's open. This is the exit to the maze. It opens up when all of these bosses are killed off. First to escape is deemed the winner of the Maze Runner simulation. See who could pull this off. They fought this before, so it shouldn't be that difficult, but players soon realized the amount of them in one area was really hard to manage. As you can see, a huge collection of them actually fell behind a little bit. Yes, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. There's two more, I need to eat food so bad though. I need and so this bad. is when the first nether monstrosity died. Only two more to go and three ender guardians. And this is the first glader that had died. At least in this area. My friend, I will take your sacrifice. Oh, run, run. No, Xander died. They, wait, they can scale. This is the exit, but we've got to kill them first. Can we just tower up and escape? It, it's blocked off by barrier blocks. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Mine on top of them. Oh, <laughs> cornered. We are cornered. Oh, God. Spawn something in here. And another one of the gladers has fallen. After some point, it was clear that the gladers were low in numbers, so I intervened and opened it up. Oh, no, not those things. Let's see who risks everything to escape. And that person happened to be Golden Skeleton. Golden Skeleton is the first person to leave the simulation. They're out. They're, they're just free. The rest of the gladers either died and got squished like a bug by the bosses or fled as well. Subscribe or I eat a Lego.